At the end of the night, I talked to officers Ruiz and Riello about what I'd been seeing. I'm just gonna ask you straight out, is it possible to make the communities that we're talking about safe while respecting people's constitutional rights? Absolutely. Absolutely, without a doubt. Yeah. We go out there every night. But the, the, but the DOJ doesn't feel like that's what's happened here. That's an opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, out, we go out there. It's, it's not any disrespect to anybody out there. It's not about race. You know, violating their rights has nothing to do with that. We have a job to do. Mm -hmm. We live in the city. We care about this city. Mm -hmm. It's what we do. I have to tell you something, though, right? So I grew up in Queens, right? And on my first experience with the police was that I was thrown up against a mailbox just like this one. Um, I was coming home from a baseball game, had my uniform on, was carrying a bat and a glove. And the guy said it was a crime that was committed and so on. And I was kind of like, I'm coming from a game. Um, the next experience I had was a few years later, I was walking with a group of friends of mine and a cop pulled a gun on us and told us to get on the sidewalk. He pulled out his weapon to make you comply with whatever he needed you to do at the time for his safety and other officers' safety, even for your own safety. You could point your weapon mm -hmm. at somebody and give them commands to mm -hmm. comply. Mm -hmm. Once you feel like the, the threat's neutralized, like, you know, they're complying mm -hmm. with you, then you put your weapon away and, you know, you have a normal interaction. Yeah, have a normal interaction. I mean, can you really have a normal interaction if someone's pointed a gun at you? I don't... I don't... You gotta look at it our way. Mm -hmm. I mean, they said there was five, six males and one of them possibly has a weapon. Mm -hmm. What would you do as a police officer? Mm -hmm. You encounter a group of males, one supposedly has a weapon on them. How would you confront the situation? I'm not sure, but that's why I asked the question yeah. about can you do oh, this? Can this, can this be done in a way that still respects people's rights? Well, I, think that's, I think that's the question that everybody is wondering about policing. So we try to go out there and respect everybody's rights. Exactly. We're not out here saying, hey, we're going to violate this person's rights. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're here for. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, our main objective is to go home at the end of the night. We have families, we have children, we have sure wives, we have girlfriends, safe. we have sisters, we have mothers, we have fathers. Mm -hmm. 